good evening we are going uh, we are going to we just about to uh, we just about to start a class for today so right now it is 755 so just five minutes before starting the class I will just put mute I will be mute while the people is getting into the class. There is two minutes before getting to eight. So we just one. Okay. We are there. Thank you for joining us, uh, Flor. Gracias por entrar a la clase. En un minuto empezamos la clase. Okay. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, ¿cómo está? How are you? Dije que está, quería probar los audífonos porque a ver si me salía el audio. Ah, ok. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Ok, welcome. Okay, good evening, Flor. So what we're going to do right now, um, because right now it's 8, 8, 8 p.m., so 8 o'clock. Uh, before starting the class, no sé si tiene, antes de empezar la clase, o sea, de, 
empezar los, los tópicos o los, los temas que, que pertenecen al día de ahora. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta con respecto a las estructuras que hemos estado viendo o alguna pregunta sobre vocabulario. Fíjese que no he pensado, la verdad. Ok, le pregunto porque vamos a hacer, porque le vamos a hacer una, un repaso de toda la unidad 2. Básicamente de las estructuras que hemos estado viendo, que es the information question en el presente simple y lo que es uh, the simple past. Y the yes no questions in the simple past. Vamos también a ver algunos eh, verbos para ver. Eh, ah, vamos a hacer ejercicios también sobre eso para que eh, repasemos. Pero no sé si tiene alguna pregunta puntual para poder despejarla mientras los demás compañeros entran a la clase. No. no. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're going to do right now, today is video conferencia, un, um, number 10, unit uh, two, review and practice. As I mentioned before, we're going to review the unit two. Okay, what is the class objective? At the end of the class, the students will be able to engage in a small talk using the structures and vocabulary covered in unit number two. Okay, as I mentioned before, we are going to cover vocabulary and also we are going to review the grammatical structures that we covered during this unit. Also, if if it's, if there is time, uh, we're going to review the sum up parts of unit number one. So you will be ready for the midterm. Okay, so as the agenda we have, the warm up part, we have the recall previous learning, which is the review of what we covered yesterday. We're going to go to the discussion and conversation practice. Then we go to the small talk, then we have, uh, we go over to uh, role play, and then also we go to the reading part. So there is a text on the, the book that we're going to go over to that. And at the end, we're going to uh, make a review about the topics that we covered today. Okay, as of now, what we're going to do, because there is only you, uh, we're going to go over to this together. And now uh, we're going to um, provide a summary of what um, you learn and the vocabulary that you remember. And uh, then uh, um, you can tell me, if you can tell me right now, what is the, the things that you remember about yesterday? Que se acuerda del día de ayer? El día de ayer estuvimos haciendo unas oraciones okay. y utilizando las preguntas abiertas en presente simple. Ok, very good. Thank you, Erika, for joining us. Good evening. Ok, so, ¿qué más se acuerda? lo de ayer, ¿verdad? Sí. No. no. La utilización de algunas palabras que estuvimos viendo que son especiales para eh, para oraciones de trabajo. Okay, very good. Estuvimos viendo palabras como networking, Staff, okay. headquarter, branch. Okay, very good. Good evening, Tatiana. Thank you for joining us. Erika, how are you today? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine, you teacher. Good, thanks for asking. 
Okay, what do you remember about yesterday, Erika? Sorry? What do you remember about yesterday? What, we, what topics we cover? Ah, um, a verbs regular e irregular. Okay, very good. Regular and irregular verbs. Auxiliar D. Okay, the auxiliary D. Very good. Uh, vocabulary. The vocabulary, very good. Uh -huh. um, solo eso recuerdo hacer. Okay, that's fine, okay. Erika. Thank you. Tatiana, what do you remember about yesterday? Good evening. Good evening. I remember that the structure, the structure of the questions in simple past. Okay, the structure and questions of the simple past. Very good. What else? Yes. And used to the uh, that use use to the auxiliary did. Okay, very good. The use of auxiliary did. Good. And uh, only this. Only that. Okay, very good. Okay, Julia, good evening. Thank you for joining us. How are you today? So so. So so. Okay. What do you, <laughs> Julia? What do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué se acuerda del día de ayer? Que lo puedo decir en español, teacher. Yes, that's fine. Don't worry. Bueno, que vimos la de cómo se se iba a utilizar el el did con el verbo. Okay. Very good. Y cómo estructurábamos la, la oración, las oraciones con verbos irregulares. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we go over to this part and uh, um, I will share this. Let me just do share this thing. Okay, and I will show you something. I will show you something. And actually, I will send uh, the link. And uh, you can uh, download this document. Let me... Okay. Now you can access to that link, please. Accessing as a link y bajen el documento. Si pueden bajarlo. Basically, this is the document that you will have. Let me share this. Do you see the, the screen? Yes. Okay, basically that is the document that you will see. Let me know when you open it. O cuando lo tengan abierto y lo bajen o díganme si lo pueden bajar. Si no, I will just figure out how to send that to you. Good evening, Carla. Thank you for joining us. Okay, Carla, do you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, please check the chat. I sent a link and um, you will see a document, uh, basically that document that you see right now. Uh -huh. Go to the chat and you can access a uh, Mandeun link. Yeah. And let me know if you can download or you can see it. So we went all okay. together. Uh, what's up? No, on the chat. No, in this Zoom. Is, this is, ah, yes, okay. in this chat.
todos tienen el docu todas tienen el documento. I can see it. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. So we go over to this document. Uh, basically, that is a review about the WH questions in present simple. So this is the information question. Remember the order is a WH word. Where, how often, in this case, what, how much, okay, and we have what in this, in this document. Okay, remember when we use I, we, you, and they, we use do. When we use he, she, or it, we use does. Okay, if you see, the first question is, where do you work on Saturdays? Okay, let me just do... Okay. I don't know if you see the... My mouse? Yes? Okay. If you see, where do you work on Saturdays? First is the WH word, then we have the auxiliary do or does in the second column. In the third column, we have the subject. In the fourth column, we have the verb. The verb won't change in this case. Acuérdese cuando utilizamos eh, oraciones afirmativas, independientemente si es el pasado o es el presente, el verbo no va a cambiar, el verbo va a cambiar en la oración afirmativa, pero si es pregunta o una negación, el verbo no va a sufrir ningún cambio. If you see, work, we have live, have, wash, do, play, cause, and mean. Okay, if you see the second question, where do your parents live? Where do they have a car? How often do you wash your hair? What do you usually do on a weekday or weekday, weekends? What does Chris play tennis? In this case, how often, in this case, does uh, Chris play tennis? How much does it cost? to fly to Hawaii and what does this word mean? Okay, if you see, first of all, is the question word, in this case, the WH word, the auxiliary do or does, the subject, the verb, and in this case is basically the complement. Okay, now, we have these exercises in the second page. Lord, en el chat mandé un link al chat de Zoom donde está este documento. Denle clic o péguelo y eh, cópielo y péguelo en el Explorer o el Google Chrome para que vea el documento. Okay, now we have this exercise. What we need to do? We are going, yes. I can see it and okay, no, no lo puede ver en en. en... No, I can see it. Okay, let me go to the WhatsApp. Let me just to, just one moment, please. Let me just, okay. Okay, you can see, you can uh, check your WhatsApp and uh, you have the link there. Okay, let's move on uh, to this part. Okay, if you see, we have these um, exercises. What we're going to do is, um, we need to do these exercises. The first one is, I, sh I wash my hair every day. This is a sentence. Now, we need to ask a question with how often. How often? Do you wash your hair? Lo que vamos a hacer es preguntas de información. Aquí en la segunda está where, en la tercera está how. 
en la cuarta, I, I have lunch at home. So we're going to where, y iniciamos la pregunta. So what we're going to do, we are going to work, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to share this part and I will make in pairs. Okay, voy a hacer parejas. Okay, good evening, Carlos. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let me just to um, make the pairs. Okay. Let me just, you're going to have Carlos and uh, we're going to work with um, Tatiana. We have Erica is going to work with Julia. And uh, we have Flor, Joel and Carla. You are going to work together. Okay. Tienen el documento a la mano, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. So let's do this one and I will give you um, between five to eight minutes. Okay. If, if you haven't finished, don't worry. We're going to uh, develop that exercise together. Okay. Let's work in groups and in pairs. con las eh. y eso que mandó ahorita en, la, en el Google Drive es el, es el mismo documento que les estaba mostrando no sé si ah, okay. es el mismo documento sí. ah ok entonces vamos a hacer este pregunta verdad con, con sí. siguiendo esos ejemplos con así cada es. una de las personas así es con cada una de las personas ahí le dice la, en la 11 le dice where you Entonces ahí va a tener que utilizar where, que sigue, de, que sigue después, sería el auxiliar. Tenemos you, ¿cuál auxiliar va a utilizar? Do or does. Eh, sería do. do. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. Where do you where live? Do you? Sería la pregunta, where do you live? Where do you live? Y como ahí tienen ya la respuesta, I live in Mexico City. Ah, ok. Ok, tienen que seguir. Ahí está como la respuesta y ustedes van, que van a hacer son las preguntas. Solo el primer ejercicio, ok? Only the first okay. exercise. I will move on to the next group. Tu cabello. Tu cabello. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la 12 sería I watch TV every day. Uh -huh. Sería how often often do you watch TV, verdad? Watch watch TV, sí. TV, ¿verdad? Very good. Sí. Very good. La 13 sería, I have a lunch at home. Sería, where do you lunch? Sí, ¿verdad? After you tendría que ir al verbo. After you. Después de you va el verbo. Ah, ajá. You sería, where do you Lunch, ¿verdad? No, lunch es... El, ah, perdón, have no, lunch. Very, very Ajá, have good. lunch. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, have if you have lunch. question, let me know. I will move on to the next pair. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. No, aquí no hay que agregarle ninguna palabra, ¿verdad? No. Solo sigan, solo sigan la, la respuesta. La respuesta ahí la tienen. Where, where do you have lunch? Very good. That's it. Where do you have lunch? Where do you have lunch? Very good. Okay. Vamos al 14. Ajá, ¿cómo sería? What, what time do you Ajá. get up? Ajá. Very good. Mm -hmm. What time do you get up? How ¿Cómo se traduce How ahí? Often... I go to the movies a lot. Esa palabra lot es, es la que a lot es mucho. Entonces, a lot es mucho. O va al cine muchas veces. Very good. Entonces, ¿Entonces sería... la pregunta? Uh -huh. How often... No, uh -huh. pero entonces no queda porque how often es de vez en cuando. Oh, no, no, no tan a menudo. Very good. ¿Cuán seguido? Ajá. Yes. Ajá. Ajá, y al final tenemos a lot. Por eso que entonces... Esa es la respuesta. Le pre... Ajá. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que le pregunta qué tan... ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tan, tan seguido vas al, va cine? al cine? Al cine. Y entonces ella Ajá. le dice, yo voy al cine muchas veces. Very good. Sería how ah, often. Ah, oh, ya les entendí cómo se está la... Very good, Flor. Very good, Flor. Watch TV every day. Okay. Where you... Where... You have questions? Where, where do you lunch? Where do you, no, where do you have lo, a lunch? Where do you have lunch? Sin have a. lunch. Tiene que ir a have. Have es, es el verbo. No, sin a no lleva ah, a. No. A lunch. No, just lunch. Where do you have lunch? Ah, okay. Have lunch. Okay. okay. Lunch. La 14. La 14 sería... Eh, what time? What time? What time? A qué hora what te levantas? What do you do? What do you do? What do you? What do you? No. What do you Why? time? Get out. Okay. Sería ahí tiene que seguir el el, el, el lo que está. What time tiene que ir? What time do you, uh -huh. do, you, do you get up? Very good. What time do you get up? Mm -hmm. Get up. Okay. I get up at 7.30. 7, 7, 7. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, How often do you go alone? Do you how, do you go? How, how often do you go? How do you often area how to the movies alone? No, sería no how do you how often, do you how, how do, you, do you how often the movies? No go to go to Ah, go to the movies. Acuérdese que el how often no lo va a separar, va a ir junto. How often, uh -huh. eh, ahí donde está antes de you, le van a poner el auxiliar. En do este you. caso, do you. Very good. How es, often ¿Cuál es el you? verbo ahí? Go. Entonces, oh. ¿y, qué, ¿y a dónde va? How often do you go to the movie? Very good. That's it. Very good. Okay, I will give you just uh, one minute and uh, I will move on mm -hmm. to the another pair. Do you breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh. breakfast. 
¿qué desayunas? Entonces ahí dice, yo siempre desayuno, desayuno ah. huevos, en, ajá. o yo siempre tomo huevos en mi desayuno. Algo así tendría que ser. Eso está rara, teacher, ¿no? Ajá. Ok, en este caso, en este caso, cuando, cuando estamos hablando de comidas, Ajá. Eh, hay tres verbos que utilizamos para decir comer. Uh -huh. Es take, uh -huh. es have, uh -huh. and eat. Ah, o sea que, ajá, o sea que se puede. Entonces la, la oración sería, what do you have breakfast? No, sería, what do you have And, eh, quítele todo lo que va de ex para atrás. En, entonces sería, what do you have ex? No. Ex. Ex no va sería no, for, vea. for breakfast. Ah, o sea que sería, mm. what do you have for breakfast? Very good. Mm. The answer is, I always have ex for breakfast. <laughs> Okay. Ahí puede decir también I always eat eggs for breakfast ajá, ajá. o I always take eggs for breakfast. For breakfast. Ajá, es que con el have nunca lo había escuchado. So we have three, uh, three verbs in order just to uh, mm -hmm. get to that. Ok, yes, very good. Um, ¿Alguna pregunta antes mm -hmm. de movernos al main room? No. Good, ok. I will stop the, the session and we'll move on to the main room. Okay, very good guys. Okay, so we're going to do right now, we're going to move on and discuss the questions or let's share what we have. Okay, uh, number 10, we says that the correct question is, how often do you wash your hair? Now volunteer for number 11. What do you have for number 11? Me. Yes? Um, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Very good. That is the correct one. Okay, number 12, volunteer. How often do you watch TV? Very good. How often or how often do you watch TV? Very good. What about number 13? Volunteer number 13. Where do you have lunch? Where do you have lunch? Very good. Number 14. <laughs> What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Very good, uh, Joel. And uh, number 15. How often do you go to the movies? Very good. How often do you go to the movies? Number 16. What do we have for number 16? How do you go to work? Very good. How do you go to work? Okay, very good. And number 17. What do you have for breakfast? Very good. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, do you have any question about these questions or this exercise? No. Okay, now what we're going to do right now, I will share the, the screen. And let me know if you can see it. Yes? Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to do the exercise number 7.2. We need to use these verbs, cost, like, do, play. We have another do that means that we can use twice. O sea que lo podemos usar dos veces. Dos veces va a ir en una oración o posiblemente en diferentes preguntas. We have rain, drink, speak. We have uh, also go and we have have. So in this case, 
this is a conversation between a you, in this case, and your sister, in this case. That question is a start. Excuse me, do you speak English? We have that, that answer, yes, a little. Now, we have what, and we have the answer, I'm a secretary. So what is a possible question for this answer? What do you work? Um, kind of, no. más o menos. No. El what, what do, you do you do? Very good. What do you do, Erika? Okay, so the second is what do you do? The answer is I'm a secretary. Okay, we are going to work, excuse me, we are going to work the same pairs and uh, you need to develop or do the exercise based of the answers that we have on the right. Okay, let's get on, on pairs and uh, in a group. Let me just form that one. Join to this. Yeah. Okay, do you have questions? Alguna pregunta? Okay, so vamos a elaborar este. Siempre van a hacer preguntas. Tanto dos verbos de los que están acá. That's correct. Y cada pregunta irán dos verbos. No necesariamente dos verbos. Es basado en lo que eh, les decía dos verbos porque eh, si se fija ahí están dos dos. Dos uh -huh. veces tú. Uh -huh. Entonces puede ser que lo pueda utilizar en otra pregunta. Por ejemplo, aquí ya utilizó el speak en la primera pregunta. Uh -huh. Ya utilizamos el do porque la pregunta es what do you do? Uh -huh. Ya lo utilizamos en una pregunta. Entonces, el otro do tiene que ir en otra pregunta. O sea, tiene que, que, te, tiene que concordar el verbo con la pregunta que está haciendo basado en la respuesta que está a su derecho. Por ejemplo, number, number three, number three, your sister. You can say your sister. Entonces, ¿cómo sería aquí? Ah, what? Your sister sería what? Who are that? What? What does? Uh -huh. What does? What you, does? Your, your sister. sister. Uh -huh. Aquí dice, no. aquí dice, she works in a bank. Ah, entonces, aquí busquemos. What does your sister, quiero ver, cost like Aquí sería otra vez, what does your sister do? Uh -huh. She works in a bank. Podría okay. ser, porque aquí no hay ningún otro o sí, que se, puede utilizar, que se que... podría utilizar uh -huh. acá, porque like, no, cost tampoco, uh -huh. play, rain, drink, go, o have, no podría. Entonces uh -huh. el más cercano o el más certero sería de nuevo, do. Okay. Y así sucesivamente, tiene que tomar en cuenta el sujeto que está entre paréntesis y también la respuesta que se da al la, lado derecho. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let me know if you have question or we'll be back. Okay. Any tazas. Ahí tenemos que poner drink. Ajá. Sería how many does? No, aquí sería No, vea. Uh -huh. Ahí está el dicho. Aquí sería, aquí dice yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces yes, cuando tenemos uh -huh. yes, 
¿Qué clase de pregunta es? Das, edu. Es abierta, perdón, ¿es abierta o es cerrada? Eh, cerrada. No. Cerrada. Entonces, uh -huh. si yo, ¿cómo tendría que ser entonces? Sería un solo das. Porque ah, she, vea. Very good. Das. das. She drink coffee. Very good. Does she drink coffee? Yes. Acuérdense que tenemos dos formas de responder. Una informal uh -huh. que sería solo yes. Y otra en el caso como este es presente sería yes she does. Que sería un poco más formal. Pero como solo está yes y aquí uh -huh. yo le agrego cuántas tazas se toma. Entonces uh -huh. sería uh, does she drink coffee? Yes. Two cups a day. Ahí, eh, ahí. Y, ok, y teacher, y en la number three, eh, sería, what does your sister? Yes, what does your sister, y cuál sería el verbo? Eh, es que eso no sé. <risa> ok, ¿cuál es Ajá. el verbo que más se acerca? Go. Porque dice, she works in a bank. Ajá. Entonces, básicamente, eh. le está preguntando de qué que trabaja o que hace. Ajá. Básicamente es la misma pregunta que la dos. Ah. Sería, what does your sister do? Ah, ok. She what works does in a your bank. sister do? Ok. She works in a bank. No le da el, el cargo que tiene o uh -huh. lo que hace exactamente, pero es el verbo que más se acerca ha pasado en la respuesta. Ah, ok. Ok. Let Thank me know, you. welcome, let me know if you have any other question, I will be back. Okay. You have questions? No. no. Okay, very good. Teacher, yo sí tengo. Mire, aquí en las seis a la par, a la par, es que yo para, 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 ent para entender qué es lo que voy a preguntar, tengo que entender aquí en español, pero obviamente, qué significa. Okay. Yeah. Not often, ¿cómo lo traduce? Not, not often. Aquí sería no, las seis. Uh -huh. How often es que tan seguido o que tan a menudo. Ajá, uh -huh. entonces. Qué pero frecuencia. Para... Ajá, pero, ya, pero entonces, ese not often es no tan a menudo. ¿o no? En las seis dice how often. ¿A dónde está not No, often? la respuesta. En la, la respuesta. respuesta. Ah, en la respuesta. Not often, no tan not seguido. Often tan seguido, no tan a menudo, no con mucha frecuencia. Usualmente seco. Ah, es usualmente. Right. usualmente. Usually, ah, usualmente. entonces aquí quizás, how, oh, ajá, ajá. Pero es here, ¿verdad? Es que no sé. Pero no le hace falta, a la pregunta 6 no le hace falta algo, teacher. El verbo. El it. No. Porque no, aquí está hablando no de que. El verbo, o sea, no. Ok, ahí. ahí. No parece, how often does it? Ajá, does it, it después uh, del verbo, rain. después de it, very good. Rain. How often rain. does it rain here in the summer? Rain. Not often, how it's how usually often dry. How often does it rain? rain. Very good. No, voy a escribir, permítanme. Here in the summer. Yes. Mm -hmm. How often does it rain? How often does it rain? Does yeah. it? Uh -huh. Yes. It's raining here in the summer. Okay, let me know if you have any other question. I will move on to another group. Okay. How many? Okay, if you are on number four, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, number four, if you see there is a, an answer, you say 
yes. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Es una pregunta de sí o no. Pero, pero puedo. O sea, yo había puesto, does she drink coffee? Very good. Oh. Así es. Yes. No necesariamente se, se utiliza el how. No, no necesariamente, porque aquí tenemos una respuesta de yes. Ah, ok. Entonces, acuérdense lo, lo, las eh, preguntas que hemos estado viendo anteriormente, el, si no mal recuerdo, el día de ayer, el miércoles Flor preguntó cómo se, se, se respondía en yes y se, se podría alargar esa pregunta, esa respuesta. Entonces, básicamente este es el mismo caso. Does she drink coffee? Yes. Two cups a day. Ahí ya el que responde ya alargó la, la respuesta. Uh -huh. Especificó cuántas tazas se toman en el día. Uh -huh. Ok, number, number five. Your brother volleyball often. Aquí, eh, ¿cómo sería? Where do your brother volleyball often? No, where no. Aquí básicamente sería lo mismo que el anterior. That's like. Uh, That's your brother. That's your brother. Ah, that's your brother. That's your brother. And what is the verb? Does your brother play? Uh, play. Very good. Does your brother play? Play. Volleyball. Volleyball often. Often. Uh -huh. Yes. He's yes. a very good player. Igual, aquí se extendió con la respuesta. Le pudo haberse limitado a decir, yes, he does. That's it. Pero se extendió y dijo, yes, yes. He's a very good player. Ya especificó, dio más información de la que se le pidió. Okay. Okay, let me know if you have any other question. I will move no on often. to the next couple. No often. It's Julio Citroën. No often. Ajá, y el verbo sería... ¿Qué es to be? Se le... Es... Bed es cama, ¿verdad? Yes. Ahí sería como, ¿a qué horas te vas a dormir, Tiche? Yes. Uh, Entonces sería, what time do you go? Ahí, ¿O no? ahí tenemos, do you, y tenemos otro espacio. Les voy a compartir para que, solo para explicarles. ¿Puede ver la, uh, la pantalla? Sí. Ok, if you see... We have what time? Mm -hmm. Do. Do they? Aquí mm -hmm. tenemos usually y aquí tenemos otro espacio. Entonces en este espacio diría el verbo. Que sería do. do Julia. Like. Go. Very good. Okay. What time? ¿Cómo sería? What time? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do they? Do they? Very good. Do they? Usually. Usually. Go. Uh huh. Go. To bed. To bed. Very good. What time do they usually go to bed? Do you have any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Eh, teacher en la yes. number six sería how, how often does it go? No, porque estamos no. hablando, ya utilizamos go en esa pregunta, ah, pregunta okay. ocho. O sea que no se pueden repetir los verbos. No, solo uh -huh. una vez, al menos okay. el do sí porque son dos Porque dos. están dos veces y Así están es. dos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, ah, puede hacer rey. Very good, Julia. Mm -hmm. How often like does this. it rain here in the summer? Rain. Okay. Very good. Let Thank me know. You. Welcome. Let me know if you have any other question. I will move on to the next couple. Okay. In theory, just give me. You finish, guys? Do you finish? Yes, yes, I think. Okay. I will give you just 30 seconds. I will just what? go on. If you finish, the, the other couple have 
almost finished. And then uh, we'll just move on up to that. So we'll give you just one minute. In one minute, we move on up to the main room. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Un mal sentido del ejercicio? Interesante. Interesting. Good. Okay, basically, basically, we're going to do the same with the other structure that we have, the, which is the simple, excuse me, simple pass, yes, no question. So we're going to move to that and uh, uh, basically we're going to practice that. Okay, just... Teacher. Yes, diga. But this is a simple present. Simple present information questions. Okay. Y algunas que se, mezcla, se han mezclado basada porque... Eh, la conversación lo ameritaba que Ajá, es de porque... yes no questions, right? In simple yeah. present. Okay, guys, very good. So we're going to do right now, we're going to uh, discuss uh, the questions that we have. We're going to just share uh, what you have what you have done. Okay, so number two, we have you. What is the, we said that the first one was what do you do? Okay, the answer is I'm a secretary. Number three, your sister. What is the, what is the question there? What is la pregunta ahí? Volunteer. What does your sister do? Very good. What does your sister do? She works in a bank. Okay, what about number four? Tatiana, do you have number four? Yes. Does she drink coffee? Does she drink coffee? Yes, two cups a day. Okay, Carla, number five. Um, does your brother play volleyball often? Very good. Does your brother play volleyball often? Yes, he's a very good player. Number six, Joel. Joel, number six, tiene el... Sorry, sorry. Uh, how often does it rain here in the summer? Very good. How often does it rain here in the summer? Not often. It's usually dry. Very good. Okay, Carlos. Eh, Carlos se desconectó. Yes. Okay, no. Carlos, number seven, please. Uh, what do you like music? Okay, um, in this case, you can say, do you like music? Sería una pregunta de sí o no. Porque tenemos igual ahí. Ah, do you like? Okay, very good. Do you like music? Yes, I love it. Okay, Julia, number eight. Teacher. Yes. Uh, we can say, do you play music? No. Um, you can say, do you play music? Uh, yes. Pero en este caso, como ya utilizamos play en uh, donde ah, dice volleyball. Ah, yeah. That's right. But mm -hmm. you can use the, the verb play. Um, I play the guitar. guitar. Mm -hmm. I play the piano. I play the trumpet. You can use... At that very only just to say that que puede tocar algún instrumento. Okay, number eight, Julia, please. What time do they usually go to bed? Very good. What time do they usually go to bed? Ten o'clock. Okay, number nine, a floor. You have number nine? Floor, number nine. Ah, ahorita. Okay, good. How much does it cost to stay at this hotel? 
Okay, how much does it cost to stay in this at this hotel? Very good. Number 10, that is the correct one, $60 at night. Very good. Tatiana, number nine. What? You didn't do that, that one. Um, Erika, you have it. The number, pardon. Nine. No se preocupe, Tatiana. That's that's good. Uh, what do you usually have for lunch? Very good. What do you usually have for lunch? Good evening, Jenny. Thank you for joining us. Sorry, Don't worry, that's fine. Uh, solo eh, en el chat del Zoom eh, mandé el link de este documento. No sé si puede, lo puede ver. De todos modos, igual, I send it in the WhatsApp group, the link, so you can uh, uh, download from there. Yes, and no lo, I can see in the chat de este Zoom. Y en el, en el de WhatsApp. Puede ver. Teacher. Yes. Okay, welcome, Jenny. Yes, Joel. Uh, <clears throat> I can't watch the link in chat or Zoom. But uh, you have it. I send it in the, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Yes, only WhatsApp. Okay. I will just uh, probablemente mm, quizás porque se agregaron después. Okay, do you have any question regarding information questions in Simple Present? Preguntas sobre eh, las information questions in Simple Present. Acuérdense que después de la unidad 2 tienen el link ahí en la plataforma para hacer el midterm que se va a evaluar la unidad 1 y la unidad 2. Les sugiero que hagan las tareas porque en el midterm básicamente es lo que viene. Algunas vienen igualitas, otras vienen eh, algo cambiadas, pero básicamente es lo mismo. So if you do the homework uh, from each unit, so you will get a hundred in the midterm. Van a tener un 100 en el La evaluación que viene después de esta. Ok. So, después del comercial, ¿alguna pregunta? No. Ok. We move on to the Yo, next. Yes. Okay. Teacher, perdón. Yes. Solamente quería preguntarle eso que dijo de cuan, cómo se va a usar cuando es cuando es cerrado o abierta la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ajá. O la pregunta. La pregunta. No, la respuesta. Ah, ajá. Ok, acuérdense que hay, hay preguntas abiertas y cerradas. Las abiertas son que requieren más información. No solo limitarse a decir sí o no. La cerrada usted se puede limitar a decir sí o no. En este caso, en la número dos que estuvimos, eh, no miento, en la, déjeme ver, en la número eh, cuatro, donde dice yes to caps a day. Ahí básicamente hay dos formas de responderla. La pregunta es, does, you, does she drink coffee? Puedo responder. La primera respuesta sería, yes, she does. Ahí me limité a solo decir sí, nada más. Ahora, la segunda opción de responderla es agregarle más información a lo que nos han preguntado. Does she drink coffee? Yes. Two cups a day. Entonces, cuando una pregunta se responde con yes, es porque es una pregunta cerrada. Aunque la persona que responde le agregue más información. No yeah. sé si respondí su pregunta, Julia. Sí. Ok. Very good. Ok. Entonces, teachers. Yes. Eh, 
entiendo que eh, la pregunta cerrada la, la generamos eh, por una respuesta corta. Para, ya si la, si, la, si la otra persona, la que responde, eh, quiere agregarle más, ya es, como dicen, decisión aparte. Así es. Por, el, por ejemplo, yo le eh, hágame una pregunta de comida rápida. Eh, que sí o no, en español. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I love it. Basically, I love Wendy's. Si usted se fija, no me preguntó ni marca, Ajá, ni, ni me preguntó, solo que si me gustaba. Ni especialidad, ni nada. Ajá. So, ahí ya fue opción mía extenderme en la, en la respuesta. Ah, o okay. yo la, nada más me hubiera limitado, yes, I do. That's it. Okay. Si yo no quisiera agregarle más, pero en este caso yo decidí agregarle más información de la que usted pidió. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Welcome. Okay, guys. So, I will share another link. This is basically with a simple past, negative, and yes, no question. Let me know si lo pueden ver en el chat del Zoom. Si no, igual lo mando al de WhatsApp. Yeah, teacher, I have. Okay, just click on that. Jenny, ¿lo tiene? Yes. Okay, just click on that. And I will share the screen. Basically, what you have is this uh, sheet. Okay, that simple past. Okay, basically this is um, more, we have more explanation about I gave you before. We have the base form of the verb, which is watch, clean, play, do, go, have, and begin. The positive we use, it, that is in affirmative sentences, okay? Affirmative sentence, we add ed at the verb because it's in past. Regular verse, we add ed at the end because it's in past. And we use the correct form of the verb when it's irregular. These are in past. Okay, let me just show you this one. I don't know if you can see this part. I washed. We cleaned. You played. They did. Okay, if you see, we have did here because that verb based form of the verb is do. This is in present and this is in past. He went. Why is different? Because it's irregular. Go, we have went. She had, if you see, had is different because have is irregular. It began, began is different because begin is irregular verb. Now, when we have a negative form, we use did not or didn't. This is the contraction. But if you see the verb, this part, the verb is in the base form. Why? Because we have the negative. I, I watch, I didn't watch. We didn't clean. You didn't play. They didn't he didn't go, she didn't have, she didn't, uh, it didn't, excuse me, begin. If you see, in negative sentences, we use the base form of the verb as it is in this part. The same happened here. When we have a yes or no question, we have the auxiliary did, oops, we have the auxiliary did, and we have the subject, I, we, you, they, he, she, it. And the verb is the same. 
we don't change the verb. If you see, these are similars and this is different. Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No? Okay. So, well, yes. O sea, en este caso los verbos cuando es una oración en negativo no se cambian, ¿verdad? Así es. La, la base del verbo. Y en, en preguntas tampoco la cambia. Así es. No se cambia. Solo cuando va a cambiar en oraciones afirmativas. Afirmativas. Cuando yo afirmo Afirmativa. algo. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. I did... Um, let's say I, I went to bed at 11 p.m. yesterday. Ahí le estoy afirmando algo. Ya le estoy afirmando, pero si yo la pongo negativa, el verbo no va a cambiar. I didn't go to bed at 10 p.m. yesterday. Si ustedes se fijaron en la primera, sí cambió. I went. Y en la segunda no cambió el verbo. I didn't go. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos ahí a el auxiliar de negación que es el didn't. Ok. Very good. If you see in part B, we have do thus is in present, but in past is did. No importa el, el, la persona, si es he, she, it, we, you, and they, va a ir did. Igual el siguiente, el verbo irregular o el verbo regular siempre va a ir. No va a cambiar. O sea, me refiero a que no va a cambiar de personas. Si yo digo, I worked, she worked. Vamos a utilizar el mismo verbo. No se le va, no va a sufrir ningún cambio al utilizar diferentes personas. Siempre va a ser el pasado del verbo para todas las personas. Ok, we have, I don't watch television very often. Present. In past. I didn't watch television yesterday. Present. Does she go out very often? Past. Did she go out last night? Okay. Now let's move on part C. We use did or didn't plus page form. Watch, clean, do, etc. I watch, but I didn't watch. Not I didn't watch. Si ustedes se fijan, la primera, el primer verbo va en pasado porque es una, una oración afirmativa. I watch. But you say I didn't watch. Ok, no puede ser el ir el auxiliar en pasado y e ir el verbo en pasado. Eso está incorrecto. Tiene que ir el verbo, el auxiliar en pasado, perdón, y el verbo va a ir en presente o en su forma base. Ok, so basically that's the same uh, for the rest. And now we move on to this part. Ustedes, esto nos vamos a adelantar un poquito. Básicamente es esto de acá, de, de acá arriba de, la, uh, de lo de la sección A. Pero para hacer una information question. In past, we use the same WH word. What, how, where, why, when, where. Ok, utilizamos siempre la misma WH question. Más did, más el sujeto, más la forma base. Y esto sería lo que es, viene siendo el complemento. Ok, what did su give? O oh, we can say... Did Sue give you a birthday present? Or what did Sue give you a birthday present? Did you do, la, um, in this case, what did you do last night? Did the accident happen? Where did the, your parents go on their vacations? If you see, si utilizamos de acá, para acá sería una yes no question. Si utilizamos de aquí para acá sería 
information question. Para hacer una yes, eh, para responder sí y no, we can say yes. Utilizamos todas las personas. No va a cambiar con el did. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. Yes, you did. Y lo vamos a utilizar con negación. No, I didn't. No, she didn't. No, you didn't. Ok. Do you have question, guys? ¿Una pregunta? No. Ok, right now I will take attendance. And uh, uh, remember to say present and your camera is on. We have Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos. Thank you. Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. Okay, Joel. Ah, yes. I'm here. Antes que se me olvide. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome. <laughs> we have Wendy Joana Estrada Escobar. Andres Oswaldo Ramos Cepeda. Eduardo Alfredo Pérez Rugamas. Tatiana Genoveva de Merino Flores. Present. Thank you. Carla Evelyn Melendez Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, Erika Paulina Rivera Janes. Present. Thank you very much. Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. We have Flor Morena Rodriguez de Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Present. Thank you very much. Dora Ayala de López. Uh, we have Anna Julia Carolina Monge Rodriguez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. Right now, what we're going to do, we're going to do the exercises. There are three pages in this one, two pages for exercises. We are going to work this, um, as the same pairs. And what we're going to do is complete these sentences with the verb in negative. Okay, if you see, the verb is in number one is so. I saw John, by, but I didn't see Mary. Ok, ¿por qué utilizamos el presente? Porque tenemos el negativo acá. Eh, teacher, vamos yes. a estar usando siempre el, ver, el mismo verbo, ¿verdad? Jugando el verbo. con el pasado y el presente. Así es, el mismo verbo que está. Ok, vamos a hacer la número dos juntos. They work on Monday, but they, they didn't, didn't work. work on Tuesday. Vamos a utilizar el mismo verbo. Básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es hacer la negativa en los espacios en blanco. El ejercicio número dos, vamos a hacer de preguntas, yes, no question. We have, I watch TV last night. How about you? Did you watch TV last night? Number two, I enjoyed the party. How about you? ¿Cómo sería? Did you enjoy the party? Did you enjoy the party? Very good. Y así sucesivamente con ese ejercicio. Y el ejercicio número tres, lo que vamos a hacer es pasar la oración positiva a negativa. Ustedes tienen el ejemplo ahí en paréntesis, watch TV. I watched TV yesterday. Tienen que ir, eh, siempre tiene que ir yesterday. So you need to use yesterday. That is the positive statement, the negative statement, I didn't watch TV yesterday. Number two, get up before 7.30. ¿Cómo sería la oración en positivo? I got up before 7.30. Very good. I got up before 7.30 yesterday. Now, negative. ¿Cómo sería la negativa? I didn't get up before 7.30. Ok. I didn't get up before 7.30 yesterday. Ok. So, let's do exercise one, two, and three. I will give you 10 minutes. Let's do that. And I will share this. Those tienen el documento, ¿verdad? 
Yes. Okay. Very good. I will make the pairs. Let's see. It's just two. Okay. okay, this will be randomly. Let's do this in pairs. Let me just do. Okay. Very good. Let's do this. Okay, you can join to the groups to the peers. The store. But, but we we didn't go to the store. Exactamente. On Tuesday. On the bank, eh? Ese día, ¿verdad? On, ajá. Uh -huh. On the bank. On, to no, the, to the bank. To the bank. To the bank. To the bank. Very good. Estaba, estaba confundida con la dos. Vamos a ver, sería, vamos a esa. But, uh, we went we to the store. store. Go to the bank. But we didn't. She had a pen, but she was idea, but she didn't have very any. good any paper. She had a pen, but she had, didn't have. Very good, didn't have. Any paper. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces, aquí vamos a la dos. They work, work on Monday. They work. Work. Así como un work. Pero si es de work. On Monday. But they didn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. They didn't. By they didn't work. Very good. Work. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. She went to the store, but I don't mean. We went to the store, but we mm -hmm. didn't. Es que esa palabra when, ¿cuál era la? Go es, ¿verdad? Go. Go. Uh -huh. Go. Go. Mm -hmm. Entonces, didn't go. Very good. Exacto. Tres, didn't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo hago lo que aquí me dicen. Vale. Entonces, como solo vamos a poner la respuesta, nada más, ¿verdad? Sí, la respuesta. Vale, entonces dice, we went to the store, but, but we... we didn't go to the bank. Very good. Entonces, la respuesta sería, didn't go. Nada. Sí. <coughs> Perdón, nada más. Didn't go. Ok, vamos para la cuatro. She had a pen. She had. She had el... How? Have. Uh -huh. But she didn't have any paper. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces sería didn't... Have. Have. Ok. Sí. La cinco. She had a pen... But she she 
didn't have any paper. Mm -hmm. I las y las cinco. Ya de laundry party did. Ajá, sería he do, porque es el pasado de do. He didn't, perdón, do. No, do. The shopping. Very good. Do. He didn't do. Porque did es el pasado de do. Uh -huh. Entonces, como okay. está el auxiliar, el negativo sería he didn't. Y el verbo, como es un formal base form, sería do. He didn't do that shopping. Y ahora vamos por la 10.2. Plus my. Ok, vamos a la otra parte. En la siguiente es afirmativo y negativo, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos, vamos a, a hacer la dos formas. La primera sería I get up. Mm -hmm. I get up before. Ah, pero esa ya la hicimos. Pero... Ya la hicimos. Got el, up. La otra uh -huh. grab. I have a breakfast. I have. I have. Breakfast. Breakfast. Y negativa sería I, I, I didn't have I didn't, uh -huh. I didn't have Break. La otra sería Vamos a ver Sería acá uh, Spotify tiene No uh. Es no, bueno porque... Las veo y, y veo cómo se escriben y las... Y la, y voy, como... No, es <risa> porque descar... estoy escribiendo libros. Porque... Hay una aplicación libre de Spotify. Entonces en Spotify está la canción y abajo está la letra. Entonces ahí usted la puede ir leyendo para mm. oír cómo lo pronuncian y lo que dice. Yo así hago. Y con las letras... Con que me quedo con las letras. Una rápida que nos he dicho. Vaya, la tercera... Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Cómo se ve? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? A good vacation. Okay. La cuatro, ¿cómo lo traduce, teacher? I got, ah, de, 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 um, levantarse. Ajá. En este si caso, te levantaste temprano. Levantarse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero como es en pasado, me levanté. Uh -huh. Me levanté. Me levanté temprano esta mañana, sí, es verdad. Yes. Sí. Ok, entonces, did you. Uh -huh. Did you go? No, no get el, up. Es el presente de got es get. Uh -huh. I get, sí, es cierto. Did you, did you get up? Very good. Uh -huh. Early this morning. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue. Mm -hmm. I will move on to the next couple. Mm -hmm. Do you have a you good have? Have. Mm -hmm. So, yes, so did you have? Have. Teacher. Yes. Uh, and the number five or the first one part uh, say Jack. Jack did the laundry, mm -hmm. but he didn't do the shopping. Is Very correct good. or not? Yes, it is. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, sigamos entonces. La tres, la cuatro. 
¿Qué, ¿Qué significa early teacher? Early, temprano. Temprano. I get up early this morning. How did you, you? Did you get? Did you get up? Es que aquí está got up. Entonces, como aquí ya está en pasado, hay que pasar al presente. El sí. verbo. Sí. Sí, el verbo. Entonces sería get. Very good. Sí, get up. Entonces sería, did you get up? Very good. Continue. I will give you three more minutes. Ok, no importa What? Si, no, si no han terminado. Lo que pasa es que es, nos está comiendo el tiempo y necesitamos eh, repasar más de la unidad. Ok. Ok, dicho. Very good. Did you get up? Vamos por las cinco. I had breakfast. La otra sería entonces. I, I didn't, la otra sería. I didn't have how? breakfast yesterday. Breakfast yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Y la cuatro. La cuatro sería about, se dice, eh, by en pasado. I bought, wow. ajá, con B O U. Pero ahí, ahí siempre llevaría el, el, el I. Ahí ya no le aparece. Ah, sí, vea, pero tiene que o no. O si no, ¿cuál qué, qué, pero ah. vamos a. Qué, qué ah, porque, con, porque no está refiriendo, sino que a un. I'm just sharing the link. One of the students can no access to that. Let me just to copy this and paste it here. Okay, I will move on to one to the groups right now. You have questions? Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Solo las estamos intercambiando para ver la pronunciación. Okay, very good. You have uh, one more minute and then we go uh, to the main room. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Okay, vamos a... La, la de la... Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el pasado de, de bye? ¿Cómo Bout. se pronuncia bye o boat? Boat. Boat. I boat. I boat a magazine. Boat. Boat. That's correct. Lo voy a escribir aquí para... Ay, no, no es esa, pero... Ok. Uh, right now, we are going to move uh, to the main room. Así, ¿verdad? Yes. Don't ya, worry. Ya pasaron los 10 minutos. No se, sí, no se preocupe si eh, no han terminado. Se lo vamos a resolver todos juntos. Los que nos, no han resuelto, ok. Va. Okay, very good guys. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go over to the exercise. Just quickly, we have three minutes in order just to check this. 
Um, and then we're going to move to the next activity. Okay, so we have number two. They work on Monday and we say, but they didn't work on Tuesday. Number three, Joel, what do you have for number three? Exercise one. Um, you have uh, your, uh, you have your microphone in mute, Joel. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I, no I have a headache and I'm, I understand, don't worry. So okay. what, do, what do you have for number three? Didn't go. Okay, we went to the store, but we didn't go to the bank. Very to good. The bank. Mm -hmm. Carlos, what do you have for number four? Turn the microphone and mute. Okay, thank you. Uh, La, uh, La four bank. Yes, number four. She had a pen, but she didn't have any paper. Very good, but she didn't have any paper. Number five, very good, please. Number five. Yes. A jet D the loading but he but he didn't do the shopping very good jack did the laundry but he didn't do the shopping okay we move on uh, to the next part to exercise number two the number one i watched tv last night how about you did you was did you watch tv last night Number two, we said we enjoyed the party. How about you? Did you enjoy the party? Okay, number three, Julia. Del segundo párrafo, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, number two, exercise number two, yes. Did you enjoy the party? Number three. Did you have a good, a good vacation? Very good. Did you have a good vacation? Very good. Number four, uh, Carla, please. Uh, did you get up early this morning? Did you get up early this morning? Very good. Number five, Jenny. Well, last night. Very good. Did you sleep well last night? Tatiana, number two and exercise number three. Uh, number two. Number yes, two. Number two. I, I get up. I get up before 7:30. I didn't, I, I didn't get up before seven silver. Because, very good. But the first one is get up or got up. Or got up. Uh, the first one, the first one should be got up. I got up before seven thirty, and the other one should be I didn't get up before seven thirty. Very good. Number three, Flor, do you have number three? I had breakfast. I didn't have breakfast. Very good. I had breakfast. I didn't have breakfast yesterday. Number four, um, volunteer for number four. I bought a magazine. And negative, I didn't buy a magazine. Very good, I didn't buy a magazine. Number five, speak English. Carlos, do you have it? Just stay mute, Carlos. What, what dijo, teacher? Number five, exercise three. Uh, yes, I spoke. English. Uh -huh, very good. 
yesterday or I didn't speak English yesterday. Very good. Okay, Erica, number six, please. I took an exam and negative, I didn't take an exam. Very good. I took an exam and I didn't take an exam. Very good. Number seven, uh, uh, we have Tatiana, please. I, I talked, talk yes. I talked. I uh -huh. talked on the phone yesterday and I didn't talk, talk on talk. the phone. Very good. Okay, just we make the different. The, the pass of talk is talked. Talk. Talked. 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 Conté al final. Talked. talked. Very good. And the present of the verb is talk. Okay. Talk. 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 Okay, puede ser and, and, algo confuso, ¿verdad? Pero el, la pronunciación del pasado de, de talk es con T al final. Talk. Y el presente talk. es talk. Nada más. Okay. Like sí. Very good. Okay, and number eight, um, Joel, do you have number eight? <laughs> no, teacher, no. Uh, no. Okay, Erica, do you have number eight? I went to before uh, 10, 30, 30 mm -hmm. and negative, I didn't go to before uh, 10, 30. Very good. I went to bed before 10.30 and I didn't go to bed before 10.30. Okay, very good guys. Do you have any question regarding how to use information question in present? How to use the simple past yes no questions in negative? Hay alguna pregunta con respecto a estas dos estructuras? No, todo está bien. Claro como el agua o hay un poquito ahí de chan. ¿Está bien? Good. Okay, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to move on uh, to the next part of the of that activity. And uh, we're going to do, I will just share this one. Let me just share the screen. Let me know if you can see it. Okay, so we're going to do, we are going to um, work in pairs. And we're going to read the text on page 26. No, excuse me, it's not this one. I move on, we're going to do this one, I'm sorry. This is, uh, we're going to work in pairs and you have to choose three topics listed on page 26. Okay, we go to page 25, excuse me, page 25. Let me just unshare this part. Let's go to page 25 on the book. And you have the topics there. Let me just to share this part. Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is create a little conversation. In this case, we're going to choose one topic. We have, for example, we have the location. The location, the example, is in your company near the trade center. Okay, we have uh, the location in this case. It's a company or a job. What are some of your responsibilities at Rex Inc? Okay, we can change this one. En vez de decir Rex Inc, podemos utilizar la compañía para la que ustedes trabajan. Podemos hablar de política. The politicians are a disaster. What do you think? 
Uh, we can talk about common events. Let me just do. We can talk about common events. Are you um, enjoying a seminar? We can talk in about travel. Does your job require a lot of travel? We can talk in about money. Are you making good money in your job? Buses. I work for a tyrant. What about you? And we're talking about likes. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Okay, what we're going to do is escoger una de estas, eh, de estas categorías de locación, de la compañía, de política, los eventos comunes, de viaje, el dinero, los jefes y los gustos. Solo tienen que encoger uno y empezar una conversación. Crear una conversación, por eso se llama small talk. Small talk quiere decir una conversación breve. Ok, so I will create the peers. And let me go to Teacher. this. Yes. Uh, I have a question and the graphic uh, say uh, EG and EG I don't understand. Is the example. example. Ah, okay. okay. That is that how, how it's, um, how it, um, it's abbreviated. I don't know what ah. they abbreviated in that way, but uh, EG is an example. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, let's do the pairs. We're going to work the same pairs, Jenny and Tatiana, Flor and Carla, Joel and Julia, Carlos and Erica. Okay, choose one of that. I will give you uh, 10 minutes and then uh, um, we will going to present the conversations after the 10 minutes. Okay, let's initiate this. Página era. Page 25. Ah, perdón. Don't worry. Ya este viernes ya andamos cansados. Sí. Creo que todos, todos. una consulta en el caso de de vamos a escoger una de todas estas y Por ejemplo, podemos empezar, eh, podemos hablar de viajes. Por ejemplo, do you travel, uh, Jenny, do you travel a lot? No. Not really? No. Not really. But do you travel from one department to another department or just you go? Yes. In? Okay, how often do you travel from department to department? I usually two times in the week. Ok, si usted se fija, ahí empezamos una conversación. Entonces, así de la nada, o sea, eh, solo con una pregunta empezamos con una conversación. Básicamente es lo que necesito, lo que acabamos de hacer con usted. Que yo le pregunto, usted me que contesta, usted me pregunta, eh, no necesariamente tiene que ser viajes de negocios, sino que viajes de placer. Okay, so podemos empezar. Where do you go on vacations? Okay, I go on vacation to Panama. I go on vacation to Rio de Janeiro. I don't know. You decide how you continue that conversation. Y pueden preguntar eh, qué lugares ha visitado o algo así. Que la conversación empieza a fluir. No tan larga, pero tampoco tan corta. Okay, very good. Welcome. Tati? Okay. Okay. Eh, teacher. Yes. Solo tenemos que elegir uno, ¿verdad? Yes, just one. Just one. Pueden hablar de cualquiera de los que están ahí. Si quieren hablar de algún otro que ustedes que se sientan uh, cómodas, no importa. You can choose that. 
Pero de cuáles, no le, es que yo me levanté un ratito, perdón, de cuáles, de la parte 2. De, 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 de la parte 2. Ah, sí, vale. De la parte 2. Vaya. Um, no sé. ¿Cuál le gusta más? A mí me gusta el travel o money. El travel, me gusta el, travel. el travel no necesariamente tiene que ser tra, eh, viajes de negocios, puede ser viajes de placer. Ahí, ¿Cuál es el travel? Ahí el travel es el 1, 2, 3, 4, el 5. El quinto. Ah, ya, ya, ya lo vi. Uh -huh. Sí, puede, ese. No puede, uh -huh. depende cómo ustedes lo quieran enfocar. Sí, no, eh, viajes en general. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. ¿Y en qué, en qué tiempo? ¿Simple? It's up to you. Ahí, ahí ustedes ah, okay. ven. Uy, hoy todo en pasado porque ese viaje no hemos salido para nada. Pero probablemente <risa> tiene, tenga un viaje para el otro año. Por ejemplo, <risa> Ay, pero así para... <risa> como va la cita. <risa> bueno, okay. visualicemos, ¿no? Yes. Viaje de futuro. <risa> sí. Ok. Vamos a decir, ¿do you like travel? Yes, I like a lot. Ay, sí. <laughs> Extrañamos. Uh, where, uh, uh, where did you go the last year? Vaya, ya la hice. Very good. Continuing that way. I will move on to another <laughs> pair. <laughs> Del seminario. Uh -huh. Sigo con las otras que yo estoy masticando. <laughs> Does your job require Requir, ¿cómo se pronuncia ahí, teacher? Require. Require. Ah, require. Uh, pero acuérdense que tienen que coger una de todas esas. En esas estamos, teacher, nos agarró la tarde. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál es la más fácil? La más Para fácil, mí. diría yo. En likes. Los likes. Puede ser ajá. entre likes y en los viajes. Y los, uh -huh. ajá, los travel. Uh -huh. Yo dejaría que los likes. Do uh -huh. you enjoy outdoor activities? Activities, sí. Activities or activity? activities? Activities. Activities. Okay. Activities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue. Ah. I will move on to the next couple. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Va, entonces dice, si disfrutas las actividades. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo lo está vendiendo? Eh, buscando comercios en internet, llamando. Ah. Me pasan también los comercios que escriben a Facebook. Eh. Mm -hmm. ¿Y usted en qué está? Estoy en, en, en supervisión de Oriente. Ah, de en verdad. En el operativo. Ah, ah. mire. <ríe> <ríe> bueno. Bueno. <ríe> Ay, cuando vaya a Oriente esto, lo voy a buscar. Véngase. <ríe> vaya. Es, 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 ¿Cómo es? es, es ¿Cómo que es la palabra, teacher? Coworkers. 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 Pero en diferentes áreas. Sí. Ok, pero eso es bueno. <laughs> ok, entonces, bye. entonces sería yeah, Work about for America and you, Carlos. Ah, I I say, come on. What? I work. Uh, I work. I work. I work at in Banco of America también. Uh-huh. You can say I work in Banco of America too. Too. Uh-huh. Okay. Ok, y ahí me puede preguntar, no sé eh, en qué área está, ¿verdad? Eh, sería como, eh, what do you do? Eh, eh, sería, no, y eh, what are, ajá, are, como areas, ¿verdad? Areas. Uh -huh. Areas are you, ¿verdad? In what area are you? Ajá. Uh -huh. you can say, uh -huh. no. Tal vez no pueden utilizar área, pueden utilizar department. Ah, ok. Department. Yeah. What, what department are you? What department, department are you? Are you? Ok, Need continue. Them. I will move on to another couple. Ok. Vaya. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahora pregúnteme usted. Vamos a ver. Ok. And you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. eh, How, uh, where, where do you travel? Mm, where? And, uh, and other departments? Yes, I 
I need travel. Uh, uh, other de department to time on the week for my job. Mm -hmm. uh, I love traveling. I travel. Vacation. I travel a lot. I travel a lot, a lot. but vacation, no work. <laughs> oh, for vacation, but okay. not for work. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Sometimes, oh, uh -huh. uh, sometime, uh, I I went to Machu Picchu. Oh. Good. Yeah, uh, I I hope walk. No, sería escalar. Se dice climb. Climb with my my son and my daughter. <laughs> okay, with your son and your daughter. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> the real experience. Mm -hmm. climb, but climb es cuando escala, sí. escalar, sí. pero el hike o el hiking es cuando camina, por ejemplo en un volcán, you have the volcano, Ay, quiero ver uh -huh. cómo está la cámara acá, yes, you have the volcano <laughs> and uh, you walk, you walk up. Teacher, pero si, That's por hiking. ejemplo, eh, ah, pues, es eh, hiking, pero hay uh -huh. partes que uno tiene que agarrarse. Really? Porque, uh, sí. Es subir la Machu Picchu montaña y hay partes que aquí es precipicio, aquí es precipicio. Sí, pero es bonita la experiencia. That's good. One of these days I will go there. Okay. Um, you have uh, uh, three more minutes. Okay. And then we'll move on. Okay. Tenemos otra pregunta para 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 hacer la. La que lo voy a decir lo último en español. Uh -huh. y, y el café se necesita, y el café la cenicienta no entonces no pero es que tiene que ser hay visir restaurant altamira en la fonda en... ah para quitar la fonda decía yo ah Ay, para quitar la... bueno pero siga Ajá. porque altamira es el nombre del restaurante o altamira es un lugar ah, donde hay muchos sí, restaurantes es el nombre. Ah, no, no, Altamira es el restaurante. ¿Cómo se dice ahí, teacher? I visit a restaurant Altamira. Yes, Altamira restaurant. Altamira. Altamira. Is... Pero si yo quiero poner dos lugares, ¿cómo sería? You can say, I visit, por decirle algo, I visited, o oh, I visit, si es en presente, I visit Altamira en, uh, um, por decirle algo, Pupusodromo, la, la ok. I visited Altamira and La Fonda restaurants. Mm -hmm. El restaurant va al final o no necesariamente. O solo puede, ya, ya dijeron que es restaurante anteriormente. Ya pusieron no, no. eso en contexto. Ah. Ok, entonces si ya pusieron ah. que están hablando de restaurantes, no es necesario decir Altamira Restaurant. So you can say Altamira. Ah, pero ella me está preguntando qué lugares. What place did you visit? Did you visit? Ok, you can say Altamira uh -huh. en la fonda. That's it. Porque ya se, está, ya se sabe no, que no, se está no, hablando. No, 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 no hemos No. No, Es ah, okay. la primera vez que me... Ah, ok. In that case, you can say Altamira en la, forba, en la fonda. They are restaurants, you can say. They are restaurants o... La Altamira y la Fonda para Restaurants. Ah, ok. I visited Altamira. Y, y para decir, además, beside, no. Beside, yes. Beside. ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué café? ¿Dijo que había visitado? Ah, la Cenicienta. Ah, beside, la Cenicienta Coffee. En ese caso sería also. Ah, also. Eh, beside uh -huh. es como agregar, agregar... Eh, otro tema pero como aquí ah, es also, sí. aquí es también también el café also, la cenicienta la es. cenicienta café also coffee cenicienta Cenici. you can say café ah, café ah, café okay. is the same uh -huh. Es la Cenicienta, es un restaurante, es un lugar de, de, de igual que el Starbucks. Uh -huh. mm, sí. 
dijéramos, pero no bueno, es. No es, Ajá, pues. o sea, ¿venden bebi solo bebidas o igual comida? ¿O es Ay, en general? general no. no, más que todo son postres. Postres. Mm. Ok, yeah. más relacionado al café. You can say uh, la cenicienta café. You can say mm -hmm. that. Ok, very good. Ok, nos vamos a mover ya. No, no eh, importa si no han terminado, han completado. Vamos a. Solo, la, solo lo último le voy a preguntar. Okay. ¿Do you like yes. it? Para que ya diga, I like it a lot. You can say yes. Ah, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Like it okay. a lot. Very good. We're going to move to the main room. I like it. Okay, very good. We are all together, yes. Okay, so we're going to perform, in this case, role play, the conversations that you created. It doesn't matter if you haven't finished, um, so you can uh, uh, role play the things that you have right now. Okay, we're going to start with the first uh, pair, which is Jenny and Tatiana, please. Tati? Yes. Okay. Are you make good money in your job? Uh, yes, I, but I would like to more money. Why? Because, it, because my job is very absorbent and sometimes difficult. How many hours do you work to do, uh, in the day? Uh, Sometimes uh, 10, 11 hours. Wow, it's a lot. Yes. <laughs> um, more? Yes. Um, Jenny, yes, where I do you travel? Where? Uh, and this time I traveled to San Salvador for my work. Uh, do you enjoy? Not really, it's work. <laughs> I like travel for vacation. Uh, okay, but uh, do you enjoy the seminar? Yes, yes, I, I enjoy because I learn new things and I have had more nebulous, nebulous conocimientos. Knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. That's it, teacher. Okay. okay. <laughs> Very good. An applause for them, please. Very good. Okay, just one thing. When you say how many hours do you work, you can say during the day. How many hours do you work during the day? Very good. Okay, let's move on uh, to the next couple, which is Flor and Carla. Flor, ¿estás allí? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> um, um, do, you like, do you like travel? Yes, I do. Where do you go in your last week vacation? I went to Antigua, Guatemala. What places did you visit? I visited Altamira and La Fonda de la Calle Real Restaurant, also Coffee de Cenicienta. Did you like? Yes, I like a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, very good. An applause for them, please. Okay, Carla, so just one thing. Remember when we use like, we can use in both ways with infinitive or with the ing form. Mm -hmm. Do you like to travel or do you like traveling? Okay, just remember that. We can say, uh, do you like to play or do you like playing? De las dos formas lo podemos utilizar. Okay, very good. Okay, next couple, we have Joel and Julia. Joel and Julia. 
Do you enjoy? Sí. Eh, Joel, do you enjoy outdoors activities? Yes, I enjoy outdoor activity because I enjoy walk on, on the forest and walk on the beach. I like the beach and I walk in, in the street. That's funny, walk in the street. And I uh I like a uh, swimming, a swim, swim. Uh, enjoy the beach and enjoy my family. That's it. That's it. Okay, very good. Last for them, please. <laughs> very good. Let me know when you finish. Okay, remember, Julia, is swim. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, and the last one, uh, we have uh, Carlos and Erica, please. Bye, este. Hi, Erica, nice to meet you. Hi, Carlos, nice to meet you too. How do you do? I am working, and you? I am working. What do you work? I work at Bank America and you? I work at Bank America too. What department and you? What department and you? Ah, I am in, in the sales department. And you, Carlos? Um, in the department operation. Ah, good. Are you making good money, money in your department, Carlos? No. Uh, because I have no commissions. I'm sorry. I make a lot of money in my department. Okay. Okay. That's it. Good very job. good job. Okay, very good job. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to move on and I will share this one. Let me see. Okay, I will share just three more minutes because right now it's eight. We are going to take three more minutes and we're going to discuss these together. What did you learn today in today's class, guys? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? Yes, volunteers. We got more information about the structure of yes, no question. Okay. And just no uh, information question. Information question, very good. So we went over to the information, uh, information question and simple present. Also, we covered the yes, no questions in simple past and the negative form in simple past. Okay, what else? Did you learn new vocabulary today? Aprendimos nuevo vocabulario? No. O el, no, o el vocabulario que estaba ahí en los ejercicios ya lo sabían. Yeah, I, yes. I learned uh, pronunciation. Okay. Uh, and, went... the, and the and the good and the good use to the didn't and did. Very good. And the good use had the, how to correct the correct use of did and didn't. Very yeah. good. Okay. Uh, just one example using information question quickly. Un ejemplo de la information question in simple past. De lo que se acuerden. You can check your notes. <laughs> yes, you can check your notes. Un ejemplo de information question in simple present. Teacher. Yes. Ah, se me está olvidando. Eh, usted pronunció dos veces developed. Develop el significado? Es, el significado es desarrollar. Ah, ok. 
Did you do the homework? Okay, very good. Did you do the homework? Yes, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. That is in just no questions in simple past. Uh, information questions, simple present. Does she drink coffee? Can you repeat that, please? Does? Okay. Does she drink coffee? Does she drink coffee is a yes no question and simple present. Very good. Pero information question using the WH word. Yes. The, um, how often does she drink coffee? Okay, very good. How often does she drink coffee? Very good job. ¿Hay alguna pregunta, alguna sugerencia, alguna queja antes de eh, dar el último comercial? Sí, teacher. Solo yes. necesito, eh, mencionó que tenemos que hacer un examen del, de sí. la mitad del, del curso. Así o es. sea que el examen ya está como publicado y lo podemos hacer en cualquier momento del fin de semana. Eso, así eso es. es. Así. Sí, está, no sé cómo les aparece a ustedes en la plataforma, pero les voy a compartir cómo me aparece a mí para que tengan una idea. Nos puede compartir también la respuesta sería ideal. <laughs> we'll be, I, I would like to, I would like to share it, but I can't, porque si no me matan los de Insafor. <laughs> ok, les voy a compartir lo que... Eh, Cómo se muestra en mi plataforma o la plataforma de, no sé si pueden ver. Me avisan si la pueden ver. Yes. Entonces, eh, esta básicamente, estas son las tareas. Estas son las videoconferencias que hemos tenido. En la cual si doy clic y me muestra eh, el video. De la, de la videoconferencia. Eh, igual, si nos vamos al curso, me muestra la, cada sección y en la sección 2 está la sección de las tareas y está lo que es las videoconferencias y abajo de esa sección está del midterm. Son cuatro partes. Son de la unidad 1 y de la unidad 2. Vocabulario y estructura. Lo que es el, el la passive voice, lo que es el um, ING form y el infinitive, lo que es eh, las information questions en simple present, el simple past, las oraciones, And um, also the yes no questions in simple paths. Por eso es que me enfoqué más que todo el día de ahora en las dos estructuras que vimos en esta semana. Si necesitan más apoyo en las otras estructuras que vimos la semana antes de vacación, me dicen, me escriben y yo con todo gusto eh, les proveo el material que tengo para que se apoyen y puedan eh, hacer el examen. Lo que está en el examen es básicamente del libro. Lo que yo eh, les he expuesto extra es eh, para que se practique. Ok, pero básicamente es la estructura. La estructura no va a cambiar eh, basado en el contenido. Yes, Jenny. Eh, en el caso del progreso, ¿Eh? Eh, tenemos que verlo. Ahí aparece, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí aparece. Pero yo tengo una duda. A veces sale gris, sale, sale rojo, a veces sale café como marrón. No sé qué significa eso. Dice que a mí también me sale así. Si ustedes se fijan, estos chequecitos es porque ya hice todas las cosas. Yo también las tengo que hacer, aunque ya las sé. Pero si se fijan, ahí está. Porque hay veces que puede haber algún error en una respuesta o algún error en una pregunta y se, se notifica a administración para que lo arregle. Entonces yo tengo que hacer primero las cosas para poder guiarlos de la manera correcta. De eso de lo, porque a mí me aparece, 
ustedes se fijan, me va a aparecer aquí. Miren cómo me aparece. Entonces, está rojo y está aquí café. El café me imagino que, I don't know. No sé qué quieren decir. Me parece los... gris. Eh, no, no sabría decirle exactamente. Voy a preguntar a ver qué me dicen para darle una respuesta correcta. En el caso de finalizar el curso, tendría que aparecer lo del el certificado, ¿verdad? Eh, o ellos lo habilitan. ¿O creo que la administración tendría que habilitarlo. Ok. Pero, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, básicamente, las tareas, esta tarea 1, la tarea 2, básicamente están en el midterm. Así que les sugiero que avancen en las tareas para que saquen una buena nota en el midterm. Si tienen alguna pregunta, let me know. Ok. Eh, traten de hacerlo lo más pronto posible porque solo unas pocas personas han hecho lo de la tarea 2, que significa lo de la unidad 2. Eh, si están pendientes con la unidad 1, les sugiero que la hagan lo más pronto posible para que hagan el midterm o la evaluación lo más pronto posible para poder entregar notas. Porque a mí me exigen notas notas que presentar al final de la semana. Entonces, eh, no sé si hay alguna otra pregunta con respecto a esto. No. Todos estamos bien. Erika, Carlos, Carla, Julia, Tiana, Flor. Jenny, sí. ¿Todo bien? Every, Jenny, every, everything's fine. Ok, very good. So, um, So at this case, we're going to finish the class. Have a good night and a good weekend. Okay, take care guys. See you on Monday. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.